Why do we need to run? Oh god! Hi everybody, Proton Jimmy, and welcome to the PT inspired psychological horror known as Fractured Mind. Give you a bit of a background of it that you are special agents of Michael, a seasonal tactical team leader at a young age of 28, has an elusive service, illustrious service record marked by a successful mission. However, recent events has profoundly affected him. His emotional well being is at risk, and his performance has deteriorated. So Let's begin. Look, I don't know if it's some sort of test. Just got to pan around. I've never played a psychological horror, so this is very new to me. Well, I don't think I have, but. I mean, this is certainly intriguing. I'm feeling this thing that something has happened it does make his mind deteriorate. And now. We're going to find out what it is. I mean, I've been checking, I'm guessing everything's fine. I haven't really seen anything, like... C-A-N-T... I mean... Being on a train by yourself is pretty damn... Scary, really. I mean, I've seen some of the... Like, mini horror films on YouTube. I think one was on a bus. Was it a train? I can't remember. That one was scary. Like, every time the woman looked up, there's a bloke. I think first he's, like, sitting down. With his back turned, and then every time he looked, first he's staring at her, and then every other time she looked, he gets closer and closer. So then she doesn't start looking, and then boom, he's staring at her face. Emergency stop ahead, which that was quite scary. So it's a loop. So I don't know if we're in the mindset of him. Or like something has happened and we're like in some sort of purgatory tormenting himself. I mean, this is pretty damn scary as it is, just being on a bus by yourself. Anticipating something is going to happen. Waiting for it. I mean, I don't know if they're going to do the whole reason you do this. This constant repetition. I know it's supposed to be like PT e. inspired. The game that was, but never was. It's actually quite amazing, really. You think about it, how one demo inspired a whole sort of new genre. Oh dear lord.
I don't know why that emergency stop just sending goosebumps on my arms. I'm supposed to be looking for stuff. I mean, nothing really seems to have changed. I mean, mouse sensitivity is terrible, man. Look at that. You turn like a bus when you're walking like this, but I didn't mean Jesus. Oh. Nothing more eerie than just sitting there listening to the lights hum. reportedly killed his wife in the quiet suburbs of <laughs> police have been called by scared neighbors as they heard shouting and crying which they thought was strange coming from their house as this has never happened before unfortunately as the officers arrived on the scene a loud gunshot was heard echoing through the otherwise quiet night the police were unable to subdue the husband so they were forced to open fire Officers present on the scene have told us that the perpetrator was not responding to their calls to drop the weapon as he appeared in a trance-like state. The victim, 25-year-old Emily, <laughs> was described as being happy, outgoing, and full of life. Her husband, 28-year-old Michael, was seen as a quiet but happy and well-adjusted man. This horrible tragedy oh, has come as a big shock to all the people who knew them since they have always appeared as a cheerful and in love couple. The motive behind this seemingly strange murder is still under investigation. But the oh, Michael, 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 what have you done? This is why you're beating yourself up. Well, sitting in the description, you did a, uh, a failed mission. Or was it the culmination of a long and simmering mental... <laughs> So what, it, it, did he fail a mission and then it beat him up so much that he snapped and ended up killing his wife? Police have been called by scared neighbours as they heard shouting and crying, which they thought was strange coming from their house as this has never happened before. Unfortunately, as the this officers why arrived like, on the scene, a loud gunshot been to terrain? So well, it says the police were the police were forced over fire. So is he dead? The weapon as he appeared in a he like purgatory. The victim, 25-year-old Emily, <laughs> was described as being happy, outgoing, and full of life. Are you okay? Her husband, 28-year-old Michael. I mean, I'm fine, but I don't know about Michael. An impatient referral for psychiatric invest. Instant is it? Installation. So what they're trying to say that, that someone was going to put him in psychiatric ward or? Like work referred him or? Sudden surge of uncontrollable anger, or was it the culmination of a long and simmering mental? This is long and constant simmeration of mind. So I'm guessing he like something. He had had a bad mission, and he was just he beating himself up for it. As they heard shouting and crying, and something just happened. Was snapped coming from their house as this has never happened before. Unfortunately, as the officers arrived on the scene, a loud gunshot. Or maybe had an argument with his wife. But then what? I wonder what happened. Did he like have the gun on him to pull out? I mean. It's a bit strange. Oh, great. Oh, blood everywhere. I mean, you have to be in one hell of a state to just whip out a gun on someone, surely. Same again. Anything on the back? I didn't actually check it back last time. Is that an E? 
Just this me. And I've got blood everywhere. So we're saying, are you okay? I mean, the story is certainly intriguing. Some aspects you sort of think, well, why? I mean, why would you need to shoot your girlfriend? Even if you're on a fit of rage, Jesus, why would you pull a gun out? I know it's mostly unstable. Damn, Michael. What the hell? That's a bit messed up. I'm not gonna lie. Hell no. A little blood in this one. And a handprint. Name murderer. Murderer? <laughs> D.O.B. murderer? Jin. Didn't even take that one. Address murderer, murderer, murderer. Well. Wow. Is that that's why it's supposed to be like... What's going through his mind? What about? Oh, great. So we like in his mind, and this is like the him beating himself up about it. is intriguing and just full like on edge as well we have a flashlight didn't even check the buttons really no wasting your bullets or you might need them later This is a weird poster to have on a subway, by the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you never know what you might come off or what might come after you. What? I mean, there's uh, nothing to shoot anyway. Yeah. Well, not yet, at least. That is a messed up poster. Health benefits of not wasting bullets. <laughs> a lot of motto for Resident Evil. Mental health. Oh dear god, there's people there. We're in the same loopage. Go. Sweet as we interrupt this program with breaking news. You are a goddamn murderer. 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 You oh, are God. a goddamn murderer. You Why does that send shivers down my spine? You are a goddamn murderer. 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 You are a goddamn it's murderer. Let's drive you, you mental. Murderer. You are a goddamn murderer. I mean, I don't know. Judging on the information I have, you kind of think like the main character is like. You are a goddamn murderer. You are a goddamn murderer. You are a goddamn I'm not missing anything, am I? I feel like I'm not, but I'm going in such a loop. You are a loop. goddamn murderer. You I feel are like a I'm goddamn bits. murderer. You are a goddamn 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 murderer. I mean, nothing on there. I mean, you look at that, it says murderer. You've got him whispering in your ears, oh, this is a murderer. You are a goddamn 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 murderer. 
goddamn murderer. You are a 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 goddamn murderer. Oh, I'm a goddamn murderer. Jesus Christ. You are a goddamn murderer. You are a goddamn murderer. It makes you wonder what the uh, developers are making the film. You are a goddamn murderer. 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 Oh, thank God it stopped. I mean, I get it. He killed his girlfriend in cold blood. Reasons we have no, we don't know why. Oh dear lord. I was so not prepared for that. Oh, Jesus. And that scream. Oh. Sounded something. When I heard the smack, I thought it was like a car crash or something. Then we're on a subway, so that makes no sense. But but then it's like, ooh, that sounded unnatural. That did. Oh hell no! I played Resident Evil enough to know that this is not very good. Did they get a turn on me? Are they possessed? I warn you now, if any of you turn, I'm popping you. Fair warning. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just wondering. These are the worst ones. A little slight twitching, I think. Oh. That's unnervy. I don't know how I'm supposed to be looking for something. Twitching lights. Still the same old stuff. I mean, wonder what these people are here. Always the same people. Have these got something to do with it? Like the blood splatters? I mean, there's a little girl there. It's a note. What the? Dear Mr. Blank Tower. I'm sending you a letter because I don't know how else to contact you you anymore. You have... I hear breathing in my left ear. You have been ignoring my calls, emails, didn't even answer your door. What happened? You were making such amazing pro progress. The nightmares seemed to have stopped. The voices were gone. You and Emma were in love again. Please, please contact me as soon as possible. I am getting very worried. Love doctor. How doctor leaves love on there? Hello? Oh! I found out where the breathing come from. Oh dear lord. I was almost scared to turn then for a second. Man. Why are they all facing this way?
Okay. That is creepy. <laughs> up, 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 up. I know I'm pissing about, but I'm just doing it because I'm nervous. Oh my god, that smile. Such a creepy smile. I mean, him is looks like a face of disgust. Like the walk of shame. What's this? Their innocent blood is on your hands. Oh dear God. I was right then, people have something to do with it. <coughs> oh. I literally lost my breath then. Didn't even muster a scream. Dear God. A hostage rescue operation went horribly wrong in the subways of the small town of when the tactical team leader, Special Agent Michael, slightly misjudged the situation, leading to all 15 hostages being executed by the ruthless terrorists. Among the hostages was a five-year-old girl who was going to visit oh her grandparents God. with her father. That's horrid. Yeah, so these people, the victims. I say victims, but... Casualties, shall we say. Of Mike's bad decisions. I mean... What is this? Why couldn't you save them, Michael? 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 Is that something in a corner? Why couldn't you save them, Michael? 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 Why couldn't you save them? What's wrong with this guy's arm? I was just for example. Oh. Why couldn't you save them, Michael? 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 That's so eerie. What is that? Why couldn't you save them, Michael? 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 So I'll put body parts on a body. Why couldn't you save them, Michael? 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 I mean, you like you have like mixed emotions, really. You feel sorry for the guy because like he's in a hell of a job, but it's like 
Why couldn't you save them, Michael? 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 Oh, that position. Save them, Michael. Why couldn't you save them, Michael? Staring at me. Why couldn't you save them, Michael? Why couldn't you save them? Michael? look at me as a carrier body part. What about that? Oh, what is that in there? So eerie. But as I was saying, you know, you don't know whether to feel sorry for him. Your toes are not going to curl up, are they? Keep an eye on their little tootsies. Oh. You don't know whether to feel sorry for him, because obviously in the job he is. If you make a big mistake like this, you will, like, people's lives are in stake. Oh, that leg looks manky. Can't touch that. Ooh. I'm gonna go. Oh, and clearly, the, like, the mental health. Live free, speed free. So it says murderer. Clearly, you know, you uh, see me walking around there. You know, you're going to beat yourself up if you make a bad decision and you uh, get your arm. Bang. Ooh. Look at these monkey arms, man. Oh, they've been burned or something. Oh, the walk of shame with two body limbs. So you kind of feel bad in one sense, but then he goes and murders his wife. Which I, I don't know, really. obviously, I can't relate because. Flat. Ooh, now we're like on the intestines or something. All right, so a bit more on this way. A bit more. What's in the box? A head. Oh, I've got a head stuck in two legs. Oh my god. All sorts of body parts. But I'm creating Frankenstein here. Oh! Oh, oh, oh god. Oh my god. That made me jump the bang and oh my god, what is this thing? Oh, it's even looking my way. I'm just walking away now. Stay where you are. Dear god. I'm stuck. Love you, baby. Is that Emma? Or Emily? Was that supposed to signify his girlfriend? The fact that the bang was him shooting her. Which I still don't get why he shot her. Out of rage? Or he just completely lost it? I can't imagine what the first <gasps> Jesus Christ. God damn it. Oh my god. I need a free mark. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> made me jump. I did not expect it. Oh, it's so dark and everyone's staring. No, 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 wrong button. Don't turn the flash off. Oh, God, this thing. What is Police this? have been called by scared neighbors as they heard shouting and crying, which they thought was strange coming from their house as this has never happened before. Unfortunately, as the officers arrived on the scene, a loud gunshot was heard echoing through the otherwise quiet night. The police were unable to subdue the husband, so they were forced to open fire. Officers present on the scene have told us that the perpetrator was not responding to their calls to drop Can't the weapon. Kill it. As he appeared in a trance-like state. Look behind you. The victim, 25-year-old Emily, <laughs> was described as being happy, outgoing, and full of life. Oh, you Her husband, 28-year-old Michael, was seen as a quiet but happy and well-adjusted man. Oh. This horrible tragedy has come as a big shock to all the people who knew them. Oh my god, they this have game. always appeared as a cheerful and in love couple. The motive behind this seemingly strange murder is still just, under just... investigation, but the police have confirmed a single gunshot wound to the chest was the cause of Emily's demise. The motive that led to this horrific act is still shrouded in mystery. Oh, that was just so creepy. that bit as well look behind you it's like oh my god froze up for a second then it's like it's something that actually be behind me i'm still not sure whether this is just him tormenting himself in his mind or what oh my god am i supposed to be looking for something or Who the hell was laughing? Is this like Michael? That's so, such a, a demonic laugh. Oh my god, this is absolute freaky. What the? Arms and intestines and oh my god. These things, body parts, they don't grab me. Freaking head there. Oh, they're moving. Skulls everywhere, oh my god. Did Michael just lose a plot or? Oh, I don't want to be turned that off. Don't knock me in here. God. Freaking doormat. Still these people playing his mind. Not sure uh, 
there's anything else to do. Oh, here we go. He needs a lot again. Is there anything about? Skulls, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> that laugh is then shivs down my spine. I think someone's that crazy. Stuck on something. Say so there'd be an arm grabbing me or something. Oh my god, the don't wait when we jump in. A gate here. Uh, did we see any words or not? We got the Emily. No, so you want me to spell it? I don't remember seeing any. What crisis is it? <laughs> It'll be here for days. Oh, I'm wrong. What? It'll be here. what words can we make with some of these? Will make absolute sense. Hold on a minute. Just pissed about their noms. Demons? Demon? That's right, isn't it? Uh, uh, that's certainly a demon. I don't know if I'm supposed to get that code. It's literally guessed. Well, not literally yes. You oh, clearly um, demons. Oh, that's creepy. Why does she look like that? It's supposed to be his wife? Oh. oh Jesus Christ what is that Jesus Why did you have to scream in my head like that? Jesus Christ. Shift to run? Why do we need to run? Oh God! Why can't I run? I'll get out of there. Still coming. Oh, 
back! God damn it! Oh. That thing is haunting. Reload. I'm out of bullets. Oh god. The wise man said save your bullets. Oh my god. What was that? Is she like going up and. Jesus. We interrupt this program with breaking news. The developer just wanted to thank you very much for playing the demo to Fractured Mind. We hope you enjoyed it enough to stick around for the full release. Why am I saying we? It's just me and this AI voice. Anyway, it will help tremendously if you wishlisted it on Steam. You don't need to buy it if you don't want to, but every click helps a lot. I won't keep you much longer. Thank you so much again for checking it out. Love you. God bless. Is that it? Anyway, that was pretty damn good. Exit only. Well, <laughs> that was the end of the game. Anyway, I'm Pro Shop Jim. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode. That was bloody good, by the way. Scared the living bejesus out of me. <laughs> but I definitely recommend you go check it. A hell of a game. Well, I have a demo. I will have to see what the actual real game is like. Made me freaking jump. <laughs> anyway, I'm Proxy Up Jim. Thanks for watching.